Hey, uh, it's your boy again. It's, uh, it's Harris out here on the West Coast. Fresno, better known as Mississippi Fresno. Uh, we're haven't been doing any Facebook Live lately. Uh, been quite busy uh, with some personal things and also uh, clearing our land out here so that we can get ready for our uh, uh, our winter crop. Uh, hey, what's up, cousin? Hey, Chris. Hey, Florida. See you back from uh, Mississippi and St. Louis. Okay. So anyway, uh, we've uh, uh, kind of had a a year of challenges here with the Freedom School and our crop. Uh, we kind of uh, had a late start next year. We'll start on time for sure. Uh, we've been able to get the um, equipment uh, out the way here at our Freedom School demonstration site. Uh, last year, we grew quite a bit of vegetables last year. We didn't grow quite that many this year, but we did grow some. Um, I believe this year was more of internal uh, organization and doing some internal things. Uh, but we were able to get some crops in the ground. Uh, we planted like three or four off-season crops, uh, offset what I mean. We plant the same crop, but we offset it by uh, planting at different times. Um, we uh, had the tractors come in and plow. Uh, the kids were excited about that. Uh, we're now <clears throat> laying irrigation line right now as we speak. Um, this morning, or tomorrow rather, we're going to be um, having the students here and they're going to be planting black eyed peas tomorrow. Well, there's some corn. We're going to be planting some today. Um, also, um, having some bug problems again, uh, but we're doing our best to deal with them. Uh, I guess the bugs got to eat too, but we don't want them eating our food. But uh, we're going to be buying some ladybugs and some different things to um, fight the bugs, the aphids are, the black eyed peas are up strong, but the aphids have now come to try to eat them. Um, so that's part of farming. Uh, just kind of going to do a little walk around tour real quick before I give the, um, tutorial on how we're going to plant the black eyed peas and the corn tomorrow. Um, I laid out, um, interesting thing yesterday. I came out here, it was really hot. It was really hot yesterday. I kind of got, uh, I don't think I drunk enough water and I was kind of kind of overheated myself. We gotta be careful when we're out here in the heat. Uh, it's important that we um, keep ourselves dehydrated. Um, yesterday I, I put some shutoff valves uh, in different areas of our farm here. And I'm kind of gonna maybe run through it with you real quick cause I wanna get some of these peas in the ground before it gets too hot. Um, the weather loves the hot, <laughs> but it kills us for the heat. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around real quick. Um, so here we have our, where we hook up our main line to our farm here. This is the water source here. That's the water line that goes out here to the farm. Um, then it, we tee off right here. You see a T goes left and then it goes right. Okay. Um, and if you notice this little green piece right here, this is called a vowel that I can control the water, the water flow, uh, how much water is uh, actually uh, going on the plant. If you see the drip system, the drip system is dropping the water pretty much right on the root. These are our uh, tomato plants. Uh, and each, yesterday I went and bought valves for 
each line because if you don't buy the valves, the water just runs real fast. You, you have no way of controlling it. And so um, these little white signs here right here, we're working with a university right now. Uh, they're doing an experiment. We're partnering with them so we can find out. Uh, they want to make a black eye pea that the aphids won't eat. So that's so these is a different type of black eye pea here than those over there. So we just put the signs out to kind of show uh, what's what. Uh, what's interesting here, I was trying to utilize space because uh, once the black eye peas get big, they'll cover this whole little middle here. So what I was trying to do was put corn in here so that the corn can grow up and then the black eye peas would be on the um, side of it. And so um, that's kind of why you see the corn right here in the middle. Uh, again, we're dealing with weed control. We have weeds out here. Kind of been out here all week fighting the weeds. Um, you see we have T-tape on the edge in the middle. So we have three T-tapes here that's uh, producing water um, here. And we have another. Now, this here is the shutoff valve I was telling you about uh, that I installed yesterday. So if I just wanted to water just this, uh, I can shut the valve off to just water that only, right? Um, and then I, these are, these are, well, these are okra here, okra plants here. And these are our tomatoes. These are our bell peppers here. So the kids will be here tomorrow. We're going to be harvesting these bell peppers tomorrow because they're about ready to come off. You see that they're falling over because of the weight. Um, so we'll be harvesting these. Oh, thank you. You brought me my hat. Okay. So one of the things I teach our students is that we have to have hats on out here. Um, keep the sun off us. So these are some more black eyed peas here. Again, we have the irrigation line that's running right, right to the root, so we're not wasting water. Uh, here's another here. So here, uh, if you notice, I made some more rolls over here. Um, made some more rolls over here. Probably about maybe, I think it's about maybe 20, 20 more rolls. You remember we had the trucks and things back there, so we moved that out. If you can see, I don't know if you can see over there or not, but I'll get over there. But anyway, I teed this off to go up and then go to the left. So we have more rows back there. So, um, again, I can control the water flow here. Once again, uh, I just wanted to cut that off. It would shut the water off back there. Or I can leave it open and it will water back there. And so over here we have... You can see the water, if you can see the water drip irrigation line over here. We have another valve right here. I can control the water flow, which is good because, uh, you know, we're in a water, supposedly in a water shortage here in the valley, which I don't believe that. But see the city of Fresno water and stuff. There shouldn't even be water. But anyway, um, you can kind of see this water dripping. There, this row here, we're going to be planting corn this morning. I like corn. Corn makes me happy. I love the way it looks. So we're going to try to have a perimeter of corn all the way around. Um, I don't quite know how long these rows are here. I have to probably measure it. But we have quite a few rows here. Um, I'm going to kind of go back there and show you the other row rows we have in the back I'm trying to see if I can find some of those bugs I seen some of them yesterday so anyway here's the uh here's the uh hey what's going on my brother Anthony Here's the uh, line that's coming off the main line over there. 
uh, which I, I just walked from over there to over here. And then here's the elbow where we make a making a left here, like a left turn and going this way. And then we have more rows here that we're going to be planting food on. Uh, so just to give you a quick view, we have that, that, that. Kind of did a 360 there. And we're here at the end right here. So this is kind of where we are right here. So we're going to be doing a tutorial. I'm going to be doing a tutorial this morning on how to plant properly plant black eyed peas and corn. Um, so we just want to thank our ministry here, a new life, like Church of God, for allowing us to for the children to use the land here to grow their their food. And uh, we're about life, you know. We're about life, and uh, this food is life. Healthy, also healthy. Those are our watermelons right there on the ground. This is our second harvest of watermelons. I said earlier we had a lot of bugs problems this year. We didn't harvest as many watermelons as we did. Harvest a few, but last year we had probably had about over 100 watermelons. We probably only harvest about maybe 30 or 40 this year. And again, this is our uh, okra here. You can see that the water is dripping directly on the root. So we're not wasting any water. There's just another watermelon plant that grew up there. So I save it. Uh, and I believe, if I'm correct, I want to see if I can show you a watermelon that's, I thought I seen one yesterday growing. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. There's a watermelon right there. You see it? There she is right there. It's another watermelon growing. I believe this is an eggplant. Yeah, this is an eggplant. It just grew from last year, so I didn't chop it down or anything, but you can see the little flowers coming here. But last year we had a lot of vegetables out here. Um, hopefully next year around the perimeter, I'll be able to plant uh, some fruit trees. Uh, kids will plant some fruit trees like lemon, lemon, lime, oranges, tangerines, things like that. And uh, so we're doing it here. We're doing it. We're doing it huge here in West Fresno. Those of you who know me know when I say we're going to do something, we're going to do it. I eliminate excuses. Uh, starting to get warm now, teaching our young men how to uh, uh, bring that over here, how to be farm become farmers. This is what our ancestors did, and it uh, doesn't mean that we have to always deal with the dirt part. There's a lot of aspects of farming. This is one of our Freedom School students here. Uh, turn it this way. This is, this is called a um, black eye pea planter. Uh, this planter here, um, get the black eyed peas over there from me. What we do is, is that you push it, you put the black eyed peas in the middle, and then at the bottom right here, hold up so I can show them what I'm doing. So this here is the wheel, and it turns like this here. The wheel turns like that, and then the black eyed peas drop out from the bottom. So this little piece right here kind of parts the ground right here, and then the black eyed pea, as of the wheel, there's little holes in here, and it drops it out at the bottom. So it kind of spaces it out at the same time, which is a real nice deal. Um, so it's very simple, very easy. Um, so what we're going to do is going to start right here. I'm going to start right there. Okay. And then these black eyed peas here. Make sure you get a good shot. 
uh, we're gonna pour these black eyed peas uh, in there. So these numbers right here are very significant because this 5182, 5182, we have to make flags for each time we plant. Because remember I told you we we're trying to make a, a black eyed pea that do not, um, that, that aphids won't, won't eat. So what I'm gonna do is, go ahead, stand over there. I'm gonna pour this and get good shots. I'm gonna pour this in here. Pour this in here. Black eyed peas. Okay. And what we're going to do is, we're going to take this off. And what's going to happen is, come over here. See at the bottom right here? See the bottom down there? That's where the that's where the peas come out at right there. Okay. So what we're going to do is. Each time I push it, the wheel is gonna. So, okay, so let me tell you what it basically is. Uh, tell you what it basically is. You know how you go to the bubble gum um, machine and you put the money in and you turn the wheel and then when you turn it, the candy drops in the slot and it comes down and you put it in your hand. Well, this is the same thing. There's slots that the black eyed peas fall in and then it goes down and into the ground all right so what we're going to do is um my student is going to go before me over there way in front of me get halfway i'm going to stop stop right there okay so come over here so as you can see the black eyed pea is there that's a black eyed pea okay and then it kept turning there's a black eyed pea there see that okay and then they're all along there okay so that's what we're doing this morning is planting black eyed peas. All right. Now, if you look in there, if you look in there, you'll see the black eyed peas dropping out. If you look at the top, that's where I just put the black eyed peas in. So as the wheel turn, it drops the black eyed peas. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get in front of me. Moving, keep moving. Get in front of me. Get in front of me. Go, go, go. Okay, go. Right. Gonna stay in the middle. My car key. That's one row there. Okay, so now we're gonna jump on this one here. Remember, you cannot walk on top of the rows. Okay, now we're gonna 
let that rest for a minute. Because we just plowed all of this here. See how these, how the ripples are in here? We want this to be smooth. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break the top of the bed and get it flat. Let me get any excess grass or anything that's on the top. So when I feed it, so when we come down the row, it'll be flat. This time I'm going to let my student push the pea planter. So hopefully he was watching what I was doing. You know, my grandma, she always told me to use my head for more than a hat rack. Really didn't know what that meant until I got older. In other words, Think, use your brain. That's what she was saying. So, tutorial today on how to plant black eyed peas with the pea planter. What we'll probably do is, we'll probably do about four rows and then we'll lay the tea tape out. I'll show you how to lay the uh, T-tape out for the, uh, the irrigate and the water plant. See this right here? How this is a dip. You don't, you don't want that. Okay. All right, so... Here we are, we at the end, and uh, we're gonna see if my student was paying attention to me while I was doing the tutorial here. And uh, one of the things he has to make sure is that while he's pushing it, he is watching the peas come out of the bottom. Because if he pushes it and the peas are not coming out, then there's not gonna be anything here, right? All right. Okay, so we're gonna switch. He's gonna come over here. He's gonna be looking at the bottom while he's pushing it to make sure. Wait till I get over here. It's not about going fast. 
It's about accuracy. Accuracy, okay? All right, so as you push it, push it on the middle, the top. Make, come on. Push it on the top, the middle, you're going off. Come on, push it, push it. It's not gonna break. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta teach our young men how to work. Let's go, let's go, push, push. Keep it in the middle. Come on, come on, push. It's taking you too long. It's not gonna break, it's not gonna break. Keep it in the middle. Make sure the black eyed peas are coming out while you're pushing it. Make sure the peas are coming out while you're pushing it. Come on. Keep it in the middle. Keep it in the middle. This is one of the things we have to do as black men is teach our young boys how to become men. The peas coming out of it? Huh? What? Are the peas coming out of it? Yes. Okay, come on. All right, go ahead and put the thing up here. The front. No. So you haven't been watching me. Put it back. Stand it up straight so it won't fall over. Put it on the level ground. I'll put it up here. That's why I say you need to watch what I'm doing. One thing that my grandma always taught me, always watch other people and see what they're doing. If you watch what they're doing, you'll be able to do it. If, you don't, if you're not watching what they're doing when it's time for you to do it, you wouldn't know what to do. All right? All right, so explain to me what you did over there. Good morning, Teresa. All right, cousin, thanks. Um, I used this to go... What is this called? A black eye pea planter. Black eyed pea planter. I use this black eyed pea planter to go down the rows and plant the peas in the ground. And as I was going, I had to make sure that the peas come out at the bottom and go into the line. If you're not in a straight line, then it's just going to be all over the place. So, got to make sure that I stay in the line. And we're done. So, we it has to stay like this so the wheel can move. When you're done, just put it down like that. Good. That's one of our Freedom School students. He just planted a row of black eyed peas here at the Freedom School demonstration site. Uh, we're out here in Fresno, California. Uh, we're doing and moving. We're teaching our young young boys to become strong black men with knowledge. Knowledge is power. Uh, this young brother here is dedicated to learning. Uh, he wants to be uh, a strong uh, young African-American black man, uh, revolutionary. And what we're doing out here this morning is revolutionary. Uh, most kids right now are in the bed, sleep. Uh, if they're not sleep, they playing TV games. But this young brother out here has decided that he wanted some knowledge and knowledge is power. And so that's what we do here, here at the Freedom School. Uh, I have to lead by example. Uh, I won't, will not ask anybody to do something I will not do. Uh, and so I expect excellence from all of my students. That's it and that's all. 
Um, here in the San Joaquin Valley, uh, they're making, I believe, $59 billion a year in agriculture. African American uh, people here in the valley is really making zero, none of that. And so we're changing that narrative right now because we're investing in our children. We're not running a program, we're investing in our children. And so what we're going to do, uh, Brian, I want to thank you for uh, planting those black eyed peas. Now, once we lay the T tape and the black eyed peas don't come up, then a couple of things happen. Either the peas then drop out, but you told me they were dropping out, right? Okay, so we shouldn't have that problem. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead uh, and we're going to see what we're going to do now. Hmm. How about we go ahead and plant another row of black eyed peas? So go ahead, get it set up over there on the next row. You know, I, I keep, you know, here in West Fresno, we, we put it up there straight, put it up there even. Good. Perfect. Now, now, nope. What we got to do now? Let me see if you're going to remember. What do we got to do to the road now? Before we plant. Huh? You have to rake it. You have to rake it. There you go. I did that intentionally because I need for you to do critical thinking. Okay, so go ahead, find the rake, make sure that row is level. Uh, I don't know where I put the rake at. It's, uh, it may be down there somewhere. I think it's down there on the other end. Many of our young boys right now in our communities have no work ethic. Um, they, and it's not their fault, um, let me say that. But at the same time, we have to teach them and train them so that they will know this world hates them. This world hates all black people and brown people. So what we have to do is we have to teach them the right way. Come start on this end over here. Start on this end. Now, if you notice, he's walking in, in the gully there. That's the correct way of doing it. If you had been walking on top of the beds, I would have got on him. Top of the beds is where we plant the food. So he understands the concepts, the basic concepts of farming now. He walking down there. It's great. It's a good job. That's what we're here to do is teach. So Brian, question for you. So why are you walking down there and not on top of the bed? I didn't hear you. If you walk down the road. Show me, kind of show me what you're talking about. Walking on what? Bro, so. Right here, we have to plant the, um, the black eyed peas. Walk on it. That. And how is going to move the dirt? Okay. So you walk down in the middle. Okay, good job. You understand the basic concepts of farming now. You walk down in the gully so that you won't be able to mess up the top. So what we're gonna do is, go ahead. Now, do you remember how I did it? Was you watching me when I was raking? Okay, so what you wanna do is, get in the gully, there you go. Go straight. Now understand you have to put some speed when you work, okay? Don't just, you know, you know my grandma is 89 years old and she can still move, okay? So you got to rake. You don't want to dig deep. You just want to kind of knock the top off, okay? Just so want to knock the top off to make it level. Any big rocks or anything like that, that's what you, okay? So that roll should probably take you like two minutes to do. So that means you got to move because it's getting hot. We don't want to be out here all day, okay? So 
So this is the process of learning. I mean, you know, he, he has to get his own style of how to rate. I mean, um, there's really no right way or wrong way of, of um, raking, but at least he's putting in an effort right now. That's, that's what I like. I like students to come out here and learn. It's okay. Just keep going. So later on, he'll understand that, you know, it's about later on here understand you know it's about you know just understanding the concept of farming um, but he's doing a good job hey Teresa give me a call later on This is why I like to get out here early in the morning. I'm a morning person and uh, trying to teach people that, you know, a lot of people can work, you know, through the sun, you know, in construction. I mean, I, if I have to do it, I will. don't want to, but if I have to, I will. But you really have to understand, you have to know your body, you have to know, you know, your salt intake, you know, your sugar levels and things like that. Uh, it's really important. Yeah, so we're going to need you here, Teresa, tomorrow at 6.30. Uh, we're going to be doing our tutorial here for us, teaching other kids how to plant black eyed peas. So uh, we want to get in here tomorrow, get in and get out. So give me a call so we can make sure that everybody's on point. I'll be making a Facebook announcement post today about tomorrow. So uh, really need you here. They'll be delivering the lunches and things here today. Okay, go ahead and come back, get the black eyed peas uh, planter. And plant another row, and then we'll teach you how to uh, lay the tea tape. Hey there, brother Philip. Now you're looking like a black farmer, Brian. <laughs> These are my babies. These are all my babies. These are all the ones that's going to replace me. I gotta make sure they know what they need to know. Hey, Victoria. Thank you for tuning in today. Okay. So go ahead and uh, explain to me what you're getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to. What is that call right there? Planter. What is that call right there? That Black Eyed Plea Panther. Black Eyed Plea Panther. Woo! All right. What are you gonna do next? Up on the road. Good. Level. Good. Well, he getting he 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 he's 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 he's. Uh, okay. uh, Just go down a straight line. Okay, you gonna go down a straight line now? What 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 are you looking for right now? I'm looking for the black eyed peas to get down the, uh, the road. Okay, so when you push that planter, what are you looking for to come out? Black eyed peas. Okay, now what if the black eyed peas are not coming out? What do you do? You have to stop because they're hung up in there. So you got to look at the bottom of that to make sure that they're coming out, okay? Are they coming out? Huh? Okay, then that means that they're hung up in there somewhere. So let me help you out. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to shake it. There you go. All right, let's see what happens now once you do that. Let's see what they come out. They coming out? Huh? That's okay. Good. As long as they come out, keep it straight. Keep it straight. So oh, one of our Freedom School students here this morning planting black eyed peas.
Nope, nope, stop. There's none coming out. There's none. Okay, go ahead. You have to push it a little faster and harder. You got to use some speed with it. Well, the issue is, this is his first time using the Black Eyed P planner, and so he's not used to, uh, you know, walking and holding it at the same time. And there's a, a lot of uh, dynamics that's going on right now. And so he's doing real good. I'm proud of him. He's doing real good for his first time. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. So how you feel? I feel good. Feel good, all right, okay. So, it's a little snaky there, but I guess it'll work. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plant these here. I'm going to go get the leaf. I'll be back. Mr. Harris, you want me to um take this black IP planter down there? Okay. Okay, so go ahead and go to the other end. I'll meet you down there. Take this weight. Put you.
Okay, folks, well, there you are. We did our tutorial for our Black Eyed P planner. We're going to save some for our students tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and shut off, take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to be planting the uh, corn and the uh, hooking up the tea tech. Peace.